My name is Larry Chinitz. I am the Director of Cardiac Electrophysiology uh, and the Heart Rhythm Center at NYU Langone Health. I am also the Clinical Director of the Leon Charney Division of Cardiology. I am the son of a Holocaust survivor. My parents survived incredible tragedy over time and they were fortunate enough to come to the United States and to start a life with nothing. And there was nothing that uh, showed survival to them more than having children who were successful. And to them, the most successful person would be a physician. I enjoyed cardiology because it was measurable. It was intervenable. You could, you know, there were some really things that you could get very granular about heart disease and intervene upon that. Patients often ask us uh, what the likelihood of success will be. Will they actually come off of medications? Will this have an impact upon their life? Will it change their mortality? Will they be allowed to live normally? Treating a complicated problem, you can get many different takes on it from different physicians. So when they come to us, they really want to know why is what you're saying correct? What's the likelihood of me being successful? And what's my risk? Uh, so we really need to build that confidence. We really need to take the time to explain to them what their options are and what the likelihood of success is in any given approach. One of the things that we really need to do after we treat patients with arrhythmias is to make sure that they've been well treated. Surveillance monitoring is the ability to monitor a patient's rhythm disorder remotely. It can be done through implantable devices or it can be done through wearable devices like watches or with an iPhone. If you are involved in clinical research, if you understand where the field is going, where the resources may come to you over time, it makes you a better practitioner. It also allows you to afford unique forms of therapy to patients that would ordinarily have to wait years before they are approved and clinically available. It's not only being involved in research, but it's knowing enough about the field and where it's going that you can make appropriate decisions for patient management years before they would have been available. Uh, and that often saves lives.